You're watching ETF. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk about the 10 Cloverfield Lane trailer. Big surprise from JJ Abrams as he releases a trailer for a movie that he, that was no big secret. Uh, it's been worked on since last year. Uh, it had a couple of other titles. Finally ready to release the movie in March. The title has been revealed, the official title, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Everybody's excited, especially if you're a kaiju fan, you're excited. Uh, the trailer was phenomenal. It was a really, really good trailer. You know, I got to say, I'm, uh, one thing I want to want to point out is John Goodman. John Goodman's come such a long way since his days back on Roseanne, and he's such a fantastic actor. And this looks like to be a very, very small budget film. Uh, it looks like it's taking place in a bunker. And apparently something's going down. Something's going down outside that these people are, are in a bunker. And from what I read about a little bit of the story is that the girl in the movie, uh, was, I guess, taken by John Goodman's character. Uh, and I, the plot of the movie is to wait as to whether or not John Goodman is doing a good thing by, uh, holding her there or is he holding her captive? Obviously we'll find out when we see the movie. Now, in terms of the title, <clears throat> J.J. Abrams has said that it is a blood relative of the Cloverfield movie. So that basically probably means that it's within that universe, which means that this is probably not, it's more than likely not a monster movie, but it probably some of the events in the movie have to do with what happened in the Cloverfield movie. One of the things that immediately popped into my head was perhaps if you remember in the Cloverfield movie, those monsters, those little monsters that fell off of uh, Clover, uh, little parasites that were running around the city. And you remember the scene in the train, in the, in the train station, well, in the uh, tunnel when they're trying to escape them and the girl gets bit. And later on, uh, she explodes and one of them, I believe, popped out of her. Maybe that's where this is going. Maybe the events of Cloverfield, this is like a couple of years later where these little monsters were still hovering around, and now, because a simple bite infects people, you have a lot of them running around, overrunning the human race, maybe something like that. You don't get that idea, but it's certainly possible when you consider he's trying to prevent her from going outside. They show the shot where she's looking out, and she's like... So there's definitely a possibility that that's something they might do. So while we might not get a kaiju monster, so to speak, well, that might be something we might get. Again, it's a speculation. It could be something completely different. You know, it could be some sort of apocalyptic event that's not even monster related, but maybe it has something to do with the movie that we don't know about. I, I'm willing to bet we're going to see something monster related in this movie related to the Cloverfield movie. Uh, when you really sit down and think about it, after Cloverfield, the sequel talk, there wasn't a whole big push on that. Uh, JJ always expressed that he wanted to go back to that world, but they never did. And of course, now with the success of the Godzilla 2014, uh, Pacific Rim, which we'll get into in another video, I want to talk about that. Uh, even though it's not doing too well right now in terms of the movie maybe not being released, it's still very popular amongst kaiju fans. And JJ knows just how popular, how much of a cult hit Cloverfield was. Maybe he feels now's the time to strike while the iron's hot. If people are getting back into monsters and people are getting back into monster movies, maybe this is a good time to bring the lore of Cloverfield back onto the scene. And um, this might be a good start to that. You know, this might be a good start. This might explain, this movie might explain some of the questions we've had, might answer some of the questions we've had in regards to Cloverfield. So I think it's very exciting. I think more exciting is this is one of those things where it's not going to be a long wait. We're going to be able to see this within the next two months, you know, March. I think it's March 11th it comes out. So I think this is very exciting. I think overall there is a chance that we might see the little monsters. That that to me makes sense in this setting. You know, what exactly is out there that's keeping them held up in a bunker? And maybe this girl that John Goodman took Maybe she was, uh, she's not hip to what's going on. Maybe a lot of things happen in the, in the span of a couple of weeks. 
you know, he could combine the zombie element with the supply. Instead of zombies, you have these little parasites that bite people, infect them, kill the person, and then another one pops out. Uh, so, it, it, who knows? The, the trailer definitely gives you an eerie sense and, and a fearful sense. I mean, being locked in a bunker, maybe this is a crazy man that she's got to deal with. And on top of that, she's got to deal with whatever's going on outside. It's a, it's a really good conflict. It's a really, potentially a very good story when you figure John Goodman may or may not be playing a bit of a psycho. You know, maybe his character is one of those crazy people who feel that the end of the world is near. And he had all his resources and money invested into bunkers and survival. And he thinks he's doing a good thing by helping this girl, but she thinks that he's psycho and she wants to get out of there. Maybe to find family, friends, whatever. And she's unaware. Maybe she's completely oblivious to the fact that there's something out there, whether it's uh, crazy people running around and maybe there's war, whether it's little parasite monsters that when they bite you, they infect you. Who knows? But we definitely will get something related to Cloverfield story-wise. We may not get the monsters. We may not get the little parasites like I'm speculating. But it may be a prelude of something to come, something bigger. Uh, why not set up his own series? You know, Godzilla's establishing their own series. Uh, Pacific Rim seems to be on hiatus again, although, you know, obviously we've heard that it's not being done at all. Um, King Kong's coming back into the fold. Toho's back into the fold making monster movies with Shin uh, Godzilla coming out this, this year. So maybe JJ say, hey, look, you know what? Let's do this. You know, I, on the heels of Star Wars, you know, I, I'm hot right now. So let's, let's do this. I'm excited for it. it. The trailer in and of itself looks very good. I think Monster or No Monster, it, it seems to be very intriguing at the moment, and I'm looking forward to it. What did you guys think about the 10 Cloverfield Lane trailer? Do you think it's going to have some lore from the Cloverfield? I believe it is. Do you think there may be not necessarily a kaiju, but perhaps he's going to expand on those little parasite monsters that bite and infect people? Uh, or do you think it'll be a completely different story with just some Cloverfield elements thrown into it? I'm excited to find out. I can't wait till March rolls around. Uh, it's going to be a good month, March. Uh, you know, Batman vs Superman. Now we got 10 Cloverfield Lane. So a lot of exciting movies on the horizon. Let me know in the comments what you think overall of 10 Cloverfield Lane. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.